continues with no relief in sight as residents brace for the 21st day of record-breaking temperatures. Here's that last night's brownout affecting the eastern seaboard was only a warning of full-scale power shortages, which may occur unless immediate steps are taken. The governor is calling for the full cooperation of private Project industry U.S. government in property, no trespassing, danger? Danger? the U.S. Weather Service predicts no change. Stephen King's The Mist. Steph, the batteries in this radio are dead as hell. I thought you just bought them. Yeah, so did I. I just have to wait for the six o'clock news on TV. Hey, champ, how's your appetite? Hey, Dad, did you see it? What's that, Billy? The clouds, sort of, only they aren't clouds. Hey, <laughs> Steph, here's your weather report. Potato salad's almost ready. Hope your boys got enough Pepsis in town yesterday. Hey, Mom, come on and see the clouds. Ooh, there wasn't anything about a storm on the news. It looks real. I think it's gonna be a good one. I never saw clouds like that. Let's move on to the porch. Come on, David. Maybe we should eat inside. Ah, it's way too while, Steph. It's really scary, isn't it, Dad? David, it's coming across the lake. I think we should go in. It's getting dark fast. All right, come on, Jim. Get those potato chips. We're going inside. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Come on, the wind's going to start up soon. Dad, do you see that? Hmm. What is it? That's a water cyclone. Oh, let's go in. This is really scary. All right, go on down to the basement. I'll be down in a minute. Really? Go on with your mother. I'm going to find some candles in case the lights go out. Glass doors. I'm frightened. It's all right, champ. The rains will come in. It's going to ruin the furniture. Your mother's dress. Oh, come on, now. sit down, Steph. We can't do anything about it now. Let's just get some rest. Oh, God. and have a look around. Clean it up in the morning. Don't worry about it.
Thanks, champ. Can I have some? Sure thing. Yuck. <laughs> Mom says she can't even get WLX on the car radio. It's probably the storm. Can I go over to the Beavers and see what happened there? All right, just for a couple of minutes. We're going into town soon. Oh, Lord, you poor lame bastard. Bonnie. You never should have left Boston. I got JBQ. They say there's a lot of damage. When will the power company be out? Soon, I hope. I cleaned up the glass, but I wish you'd do something about the tree in the living room. Uh, as soon as I clear the drive. What's that? Hmm? That's Norton talking to his chainsaw. That's not it. Billy, stop! Oh my God. It's Billy, don't move! Wired. Billy, don't get any Go closer, back. champ. Go around the other way. It's okay. Get in the house right now. It's all right. He's okay now. Dad, you want to see Go him? in right now. Oh, come on, Ma. I want to show Dad the T-Bird. Don't argue with me. You do like your mother says. Hi, hey, Brett. Hi. What happened to your T-Bird? A uh, friggin' tree fell on it. On your 55 T-Bird, it did. Yeah, it That's did. Too bad. Uh, I can't even get my chainsaw to fire. I paid $200 for that piece of crap. Do you want a beer, Mr. Norton? Yeah, sure. You got a light beer? Just plain bud. Oh, anything. <laughs> Thanks. You want me to come over and help you cut the tree off your T-Bird? No, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> well, we're going into town if you want anything. I'd like to come. All right. <laughs> okay. When you're ready to go in, let me know. Okay. I'm scared. Why? It's over. Is it? Last winter was so strange, and now this spring? You know, they call it a flax spring. Mrs. Carmody says there hasn't been one in these parts since 1888. Mrs. Carmody is nuts. We had a hard winter and a late spring, and now we're having a hot spell and a storm. That wasn't an ordinary storm. Well, oh, like... God. What? Look at the boathouse. Son of a bitch! Ah, that's Norton Free, isn't it? Yeah. I thought that you asked him to take it down. Oh, what can I do? Sue him? He He's a lawyer. Is a jerk. Dad, look at that. Billy, what I is thought it? I... It's a fog bank. On the lake? Well, sure, you've seen fog on the lake before. Only in damp weather. Yeah, well, we got it now. It's left over from the storm. It's a temperature inversion. Temperature inversion. Well, yeah, it's something. You sound like Brent Norton. You lighten up, will ya? You go one storm and you go to the twilight zone on me. You lighten up. You're starting up. to sound like Mrs. Carmody counting the rings on caterpillars and milkweed juice for it warts. It worked. Yeah, sure. What is really happening? I don't know. Hey, champ, you ready to go to town? You want to come too, Steph? Don't patronize me. I'm sorry. I want you to come. Come on, we'll have lunch. I'll stay here. There's a lot of things for me to clean up. Ah, oh, come on, come on. I better now. I'm going to stay here. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, you got a shopping list? Mm-hmm. Be careful. You too. Come on, Chief. Go get Norton. We got to roll. You don't want to change your mind. No, it's okay, honey. Go on. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye-bye. See if WOXO is back on. Nope. Try mm, WBLM. It's WJBQ. W-I-G-Y. No, BLM is off. It's funny. What's that? I'm just thinking. What stations are on the other side of the fog front? You mean the transmitters? They must all be above Stoneham, to the west of Old Shamor Road. Shamor's where they have the government's projects. I wonder if the Arrowhead Project got hit. <laughs> Who cares? Just some agricultural station. I bet they're the ones that developed the ideal tomato. You know, the ones we eat. Looks good, great for shipping, firm, bounces like a tennis ball, tastes like toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know. They locked up pretty good up there. Armed guards at the gates had some tomatoes. Victor McAllister says they're shooting atoms into the air. Yeah, it's full of atoms. Everything's made of atoms. I know that, only these are different atoms. <laughs> it's okay, Big Bill. Look, the power line's down there. Watch too. out! You, are, you stupid turd! You take that Yamaha and shove it up! Brent! Up. Brent! You know the kid? Oh, yeah. Guy looks good skewered on a hood ornament of an old 88. What's skewer? Skewer, that's where they take a nice piece of fresh meat and they run a... Grant, you ever had any children? Me? No way. 
Electricity. You got a point. The supermarket looks open. And the pharmacy. And this is Carm huh? Carmody. That old wacko still in business. He's got some nice stuff. I might pick up something for Steph. She's a sucker for stained glass. Listen, you two go on ahead. Get a cart and start. Uh, I'll be right with you. Come on, Billy. Oh, I haven't seen you in the shop in a long time, Mr. Drayton. Hello, Mrs. Carmody. I do see your wife quite often, though. Lovely girl. I see the laundromat's out of commission. Yes. It's almost like the last times, isn't it? I spoke with the Savior only this morning, after breakfast, and he told me, lay not up your store in worldly goods. Now, have you seen these lovely canvas texture prints I have? They're by Fanta de la Tour, you know? um, I, uh... I noticed that leaded glass piece in the window. That's uh, uh -huh. that's new, isn't it? New? Why, no. Workmanship like that is done nowadays, Mr. Drayton, in my father's time. How much is it? Well, in a righteous world, it would be priceless. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Steffi might like it. Have you seen the lake? Hmm? The lake? The black spring last came in 1888. The ice turned black as a rotting tooth, and when it began to crack from underneath it, there came... Mrs. Carmody, um, I'll take it. Will that be cash or charge, Mr. Drayton? Hello? Hello? Maybe I'll give Steffi a Hello? call. Hello? Oh, damn it! Not working? Can't even get the operator. None of them working? They never should have broken up AT&T. Some phone company we've got. Nothing. Ow. Oh, Fred, those doors aren't working. You all right? These automatic doors. I thought they were automatic. The power's out. Oh. oh. Come on, Fred. Push. 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 Push! <laughs> now, how you doing? We can't figure out Mom's handwriting. Well, let's see. The air conditioning's off. Yeah, I noticed. This is your cold enough to give you frostbite. Milk, Monterey Jack cheese, Land O'Lakes butter, Diet Coke, Doritos, cucumbers, tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. I got the mayonnaise. Okay, let's see. Wieners and bologna. What kind? How about Tobin's first class factors? Did she want Kraft Miracle Whip? Is there's Oscar Mayer bologna? Or was it Hellman's real mayonnaise? I saw two army guys, but they were from the Arrowhead Project. <laughs> I bet they are. A lot of Lancers. Good. They were playing with a walkie talkie. I don't know what they're doing here. Yeah, checking on the price of tomatoes. Hit cops. Come on, let's get in line. Someone died. Huh? Check out the movie. Yeah, they're using hand calculators. I'm on their fingers. It's gonna take forever. Mm, cool it, champ. The mist! You ought to see the mist! It's rolling right up Kansas Road! Sure. Billy, why don't you go out and have a look? No. Come on, the kid's curious. What is it, Daddy? Is Molly alright? Yeah, it must be a fire, huh? Hey, you haven't paid for that! Hey, you! Hey, come back here with those hot dog rolls! There's something out there. Lady, you owe me for those mushrooms. Something here. in the mist. Oh, you give me back my mushrooms. Daddy, why is this bloody? He's okay, Big Bill. Why is he bloody? Oh, keep your eye on the job, please. Here, you do it if you think you can do it faster. You leave this stand and you're fired, mister. Look, hey, well, I mean that. Bud, would you just check out the revolving? Thank you. I want money. Oh, well, I want the damn lights. It's not the lights. The lights were out when we got here. It's something else. It's all right. Ah, stupid idiot. A whole six pack of coke. I don't know what it was. Look, 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 look at that. No! Don't go out there. It's death. I have felt the breath. It's death out there. What the hell is this? We're not going to do this. It's Let's get out of here. What do you say? I'll take it easy. Come on, we don't know what. Did you roll up the windows? I don't remember. I'll be right back. Hey, you. What? You think that Hawaiian punch is free? I'm coming back. I'll call the police. I'm calling the police. Yes, in the last times, men will barter for the earth and its treasures. I'm getting The grasshopper lies heavy, and the grass is the heavens prepared to open. what? It's the end. David, what's going on? Oh, I wish I did. Well, whatever it is, I don't dig it. 
Billy, I'll have to put you down now. You're breaking my arm. Is Bobby okay? Disaster here. That was an earthquake. Like the one they had in Naples four years ago. Yes, go, dear. Naples. Yes, for your oh, Naples. I know. I have seen its face, and it is an ancient face. The face of the dark one. The face that blots out the sun. It is the end. Cut the crap, you old witch. Nobody wants to listen to your Look, crap. If we organize on an orderly fashion. That's right. Let's just wait a few minutes Where's until it clears. Where's my husband? Up. Why hasn't he come back? Why hasn't any of them come back? I can't see anything out there. Wait! Wait until we can do something. Wow. How can I wait? My kids are at home. I I want to go home. I want my mom. I don't. I have to go to the bathroom. Shut that rat up. What did you oh, say? Oh, yeah, come on, Dave. Take I can't it. stay here. I've got to get home. I want to see mommy. It's okay. It's okay. They're both very young. Will someone help me? You. Will you see me home? <laughs> you! Look, first we have to consider the possibility of all this happening. I don't... You! I understand how you feel, lady, but I've got a kid of my own here. You just have to wait a few minutes. Won't anyone see me home? Oh, lady. Oh, I hope Listen. you all rot in hell! Here she goes. Oh, the red dress is absorbing the mist. I don't... Oh, 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 oh. I'm going out. No, you're not. Yes, I am. That's not regular fog. It isn't, is it? I don't think so. I'm cold. You stay here. I'll get you something to cover you up with. Take ten years of what's the matter? Did you hear it? What did you hear? I don't know. And I don't want to hear it again. Who turned the generator on? I did. Something's blocking the exhaust. The fumes are backing up in there. Okay. Let's see if we can get it going again. Well, we're gonna need some flashlights. <laughs> Smells pretty rank. <coughs> Guess you were right to shut her down. Try it now, Ollie. Shut it down! Shut it down! Holy crow, don't that stink. Something's plugged that exhaust, all right. I'll tell you what. Get the power running long enough to raise that loading door back there, and I'll go out and clear away whatever it is. I wouldn't go out there. No, I bet you wouldn't. No, Norm, I don't think that's a good idea. That's okay, I'll do it. No, no, you don't understand. I really don't think it's wise. It was my idea. Well, you don't understand. If you open that loading door and something gets in. Like what? Like whatever made that noise I heard. Yeah, well, maybe you got in here in the dark and got a little confused, you know what I mean? And maybe, and maybe before you go screwing around, you ought to think about those people who already tried to go out. Maybe you are. Hey, when anybody wants your advice, we'll ask for it. But the generator isn't that important. The food in the cold cases will keep for 12 hours or more with absolutely no reason. Okay, reason. kid, you're it. I'll start the motor, you raise the door high enough to duck under, then I'll shut her down. Give a yell when it's clear. I'll be standing by. This is crazy. You let that lady go out by hey, herself. I didn't notice you break your butt to score that. You let this kid go out and risk his Why don't you shut up? I'm tired of listening to your candy ass crap. You ready, Norm? Norm! Yeah. Norm, you don't have to prove anything. What, just leave it be. Yeah. 
Something's dead up. What's that smell? Oh, no, 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 something else. Hold up. Okay, Norm. This isn't necessary. The cold cases will Why don't you go back and tend your groceries? Leave this job the rest. Hey, get it off. Jesus. Get this friggin' thing off me! It's a tentacle. Help me, you guys, please! Hey, hey, get back, there's another one! Help me! For God's sake! Hey, hey, stay back, there's no one! Pour it all over me! Over by the beer cooler. Yeah. All right. Now let's get it straight. Ollie and I'll leave out the part about you sending that kid out there if you back us up. I'm sorry. What if they get in? Huh? The tentacles? I'm sorry. Have you taken a look at the front of this place? Plate glass. Oh, yeah. Holy. Let me get Brent Norton. We're going to need all the help we can get. Let's hope to God they'll listen. That's what I want to talk to you about. There are people drinking beer. Hey, Brent, listen. Excuse me a minute. Let's head over by the beer cooler. This is going to stop. I can tell you that. Look, somebody should plug up that hole in the window. Which window? A plate glass. A piece fell out of the corner. Something really stinks out there. <sighs> listen, you know the man who came in all bloody shouting about something, grabbed his friend? Yeah, the guy with the nosebleed. Yeah, well, he wasn't hallucinating. Come on, I want to show you something. You feeling okay? No. Now, you see those double doors? Yeah. They open onto the storeroom. One of those men drinking beer. Isn't he the assistant manager? Yeah, it's Ollie, right. If Brown sees that, I can promise you the man will be looking for another job very soon. Listen, there's something back there, outside. It tried to get in when we opened the loading door. Something that kills people. Dave, you want a beer? You bet. Anyway, it's still out there. We all saw it. Yeah, it's true. Believe me. What kind you want? It doesn't matter. He's right. Tentacles. I don't know how many. Yeah, yeah I see. All right. We got Norm and... I can't. Yeah, it's Miller time, right? Brent, listen. I don't know how much you guys have been drinking, but... Look, we're not is. drunk. Okay. Not on this light beer, I'll okay. tell you that. All right, maybe a little group hysteria, but I think it's a little joke here at my expense. And given another time, I might think it's funny, but there are people that are scared, and I don't think it's funny. Brent, there's a chunk of tentacle on the floor in there. He's you right. You can see it for yourself. 
The loading door cut it off when it came down. You can hear them rustling all over outside the door. No. What? I said no. The joke is going far enough. Brandon, I swear this is no joke. You expect me to go back there and gawk at some 98 cent rubber novelty while these hicks stand around and laugh their asses off? Who are you calling a hick? I'm glad that tweet fell in your boathouse. If you want to know the truth, Stove it in pretty good, didn't it? Fantastic. Now get out of my way. Dig you to yourself. You listen. There are lives at stake here. My son, not the least of them. So you listen, or I swear I'll not Go ahead live and beat up a man with a heart condition if it makes you feel Screw good. Screw his heart. I don't think a cheap New York shyster like him has a heart. Brent, I Let need you, go. damn it! Let me not go. until you see for yourself! Help me! Well, what are you yelling for? It's a joke, right? Let me go! Here, what is this? He can let me go. He's crazy. He's not crazy. I wish he was. You're drinking. Now come off it, but at a time like this... Regulations don't change. I'll see the company hears of this. Go! Hey! Hey, hello, everybody in the store. You, you want to come back and hear this? Concerns all of you. Dave, how am I doing? All right, let, listen up. There's something uh, you all had better know. You put that liquor down right now. You shut up right now, Mr. Brown. I, I, I don't know what some of you think you're doing, but I can tell you it's going to be reported to the Federal Foods Company, and there may be charges. Go ahead and take down Nate. Just don't talk. Okay, now listen, David Drayton has something to tell you. And I think you all had better listen in case you were planning to go home. Uh, Dave? I, I don't want to scare you, but there's something alive out there in the mist. Something extremely dangerous. It's alive, I can tell it's, you that. It's not alive. There's a piece of it back there in the stock what? room. It got in when we opened the loading doors a few minutes ago. It's already killed one person. It's alive. It's alive. It's lunacy. Where do you suppose it came from? I don't know. The point is it's here. I suspect it came out of one of those Budweiser cans. That's what Santa I Budweiser. Yes. <laughs> and what do you propose to do about it, Mr. David Drayton? What do you think you can do about it? It's the last times, I tell you. The moving finger has writ, not in lines of fire, but of mist. The earth has opened and spewed forth its abominations. That's about enough, Mrs. Carmody. You stay away from me. It's the end. It's a lot of crap is what it is. No, sir. The flat-out truth, I saw it myself. So did I! The sick joke! Why are we standing here arguing? Come back and take a look. Customers are not allowed in the store. Look, oh. Bud! Bud, just go with them. Let's settle this all thing. Right, all right, enough is enough. Let's get this oh, foolishness. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. This is terrible. Dog food and bleach and detergent. Do that. Gentlemen, <clears throat> uh, it uh, appears we have a problem of some magnitude here. Okay, come on, champ. I'm going to take you for a ride in a shopping cart. Did I sleep long? Yeah, a little while. What time is it? About 4.30. Are there no more ruffles? They're all gone. Hey, here's some munchos. No. How about taco flavored chips? No. Hey, look, cheez -Its. Huh? Okay. All right. Oh. 
understand what it is that is outside of the mist. Yeah, do you understand? There is no defense against the will of God. There are none so blind as will not see. Well, what are you saying? What are you proposing? Proposing? I'm proposing that you prepare to meet your God. <laughs> Go meet Jindley Squaw. Doubt or not to the end. Yet a monstrosity did drag that poor boy away. Things in the mist, abominations, eyeless freaks, pallid horrors. Do you doubt? Then go outside. Go on out and say how do you do. Mrs. Carmody, you are going to have to stop. There are children here. You understand what I'm chance. saying? What chance is that? A sacrifice. Oh. A sacrifice. Oh. Shut up. We don't want to hear that talk. Nobody wants to hear what you have to They'll say. They'll come for you tonight. You'll hear them coming, creeping and crawling, and you'll beg for Mother Carmody to show you what to do. You'll see. I want to go home. That old lady's crazy as a bedbug, but she could be right about something moving in after dark. The mist will blow over by then. What are we going to do about those windows? Right. One of those things you saw in the back decides to hit the glass. We're all up to Chocolate Creek without a piss ant for a pass. Listen, there's a pile of long food bags down there. 25-pound sacks, green acres, and bigger rope. We could put them up like sandbags, up against yeah, that. That's a good idea. Let's see. 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 let us see my husband's idea. He thought I should have it for protection. Is your husband here? No, he's in New York on business. Well, uh, if you can use it, you better hold on to it. What do you got there, a 38? Yeah, I've never fired it in my life. Okay, we got a gun. Anyone shoots good? I yeah, should. yeah, wait, I did a little target shooting over in there. That's yours. This okay. may sound a bit off the wall, but there aren't any flamethrowers in this place, are there? Oh, shit, until last week we had a whole carton of those little uh, blow torches. They weren't well, the propane set them back. Oh, oh, there's plenty of salt. That's what you put on nasty crawling things. Salt, salt, salt. Okay, we gotta get moving. Daddy, the Cracker Jack saw well, look, Carl uh, we we do now? We're gonna get the bags? The screaming right. yells out. Uh, okay, let's get those bags up. Alright, let's get those bags. Okay. I guess Zonkers will have to do. Alright. Salt. I'll tell you what I think. I think we ought to wrap some of those old cedar mop handles with cloth, tie them with twine, and have a couple of cans of lighter fluid already. Beat salt. Why doesn't someone come and rescue us? Well. Do you know what's happening? No. Neither does anyone else. You think Mom's okay? Joey, I just don't know. I want her awfully bad. Oh, Billy. I want flashlights for these people. I'm sorry, we'll have to share the few we have. I have a group here that needs to have light. We have two, but that's all. We must share our dwindling supply. We have a lot of batteries. There's Brent and Norton lobbying for the other group. There's Mrs. Turner. Hi, Billy. Stephanie here, David? No, she's at home. Now and two. How long here on watch here? Till six. Have you seen anything out there? Just the mist. I'll keep Billy till six if you like. Do you like that, Billy? Okay. Let's go over. I'm sure everything will be okay with Stephanie and Alan. Well, I'll get the hearts to go back to your bed till the sun. I don't know how long it's been. It's more a matter of quality. McKee is going to barbecue some chicken over the gas grill. We'll get some hot food into us and talk about Move it. Move out of our way. Do what you want, but you're as good as murdering those other people. Mr. Norton. Come on, let's get out of this nut house. Brent, Brent, wait a minute. I don't want to discuss this any further, David. Certainly not with you. I know you don't. I want to ask you a favor. What's that? I have 300 feet of clothesline. So? Just tie one end around your waist before you go out. When you feel it come tight, tie the other end around something else. And then forget about it. Doesn't matter what, a, a car bumper, a door why? handle, why? anything. Why, why, why? In case you need to find your way back, and it'll tell me you got at least 300 feet. No. No. All right, good luck anyway. I'll do it. Here. No reason not to. Thanks. Just tie it around your waist, and I'll let it out. You want to take my knife? No, it's all right. I got one. All right. Are we ready? Out your line there. Are we finally ready? Good luck, man. Oh, don't worry, David. We'll send someone back to lead the rest of you out by the hand. That stuff is as thick as pea soup. Yeah. I swallowed them right up. How far? Over half. 150 feet. Stop! Right there, it goes again. 
quarters. That's about 225. God, look at that rope go. It stopped. Close the door. Wait a minute. Let me pull the rope in. It's slack. It's not attached to anything. Hurry. Hurry, please. Oh, look at that. It's soaked in blood. The rope's been chewed. Now, do you believe? Death. Death out there. Shut the door. Chicken and potato salad. We gotta eat, big guy. I'm not hungry. I have cran apple and triscuits. No. Okay. Go get a peach. You like peaches. What if Mr. Brown says something? Well, if he says something, you come back and tell me. Okay. How bad will it be tonight? I don't know. I can keep Billy as much as you like. If if I have Billy, I'm so worried about Alan. I have. I have a terrible feeling that he's already dead. I'm s Don't you feel anything about Stephanie? No. Do you like Rye Chris? Not really. Here comes Billy. Come with me, Billy. I'll show you how to make a little man out of a peach pit and some thread. Won't that be fun? Where's the boy? With Mrs. Terman. You want one of these? Clausen's kosher pickles. Thanks. So what's happening? Three guys on watch this shift. This thing's moving around out there. Huh? I'm not drunk. I've been trying, but... What are you talking about? Uh, Tom Smalley saw it, too. Sometimes a little smudge in the mist. Sometimes a big dark place. Then it fades again. Even Arnie Sims saw something. Arnie's blind as a bat. The others? They're out of staters. I didn't ask any of them. What's that? Sun made. Raisins? Well, it's not prunes. The one thing I don't need is prunes. Well, thanks. Look at that old Mrs. <coughs> Carmody staring at a plate full of chicken bones and slurping up a can of V8. She looks healthy. Yeah. yeah she was right about one thing. When it gets dark, we'll find out. Jesus. 
Something just swooped down and picked up the corpse. This is... This is... <laughs> I just... <laughs> Is it? I'm sorry. Tom Smalley is dead. Oh, God! Sleep either, huh? No, here. I squirreled away a couple of bottles of Nitol Samanex. Most of the stock's been used up. Looks like a few people have OD'd already. What time is it? Oh, it's after midnight. Uh, about 1.35. Here, take a couple of these, Dave. You gotta take care of yourself. Yeah, what for? For him. Plus, you got your wife and all. I don't have anybody. Here, you want some peanut butter? What kind? Well, it's uh, Peter Pan Creamy Skippy Super Chuck. I don't know. Uh, super chunk, I guess. There you go. <laughs> Take care. You too, Ollie. Are we still here? Yeah, we're still here. Hey, kid. Everything's gonna look a little better come morning. No, it won't. Shh. It won't. It's past his bedtime. I want my mother. Yeah, of course you do. Come on. I'll hold you. Thanks. He needed you. He doesn't even know me. You're here. You're warm. I wish I was. I'm cold. You want some uh, peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> Skippy super chunk. I prefer the smooth. What do you think about all this? Ask me in the morning. I'm asking you now. Well, I think we ought to try to keep warm. All right. I know where they keep the pillows and... You know, the polyester coverlets? I checked that, bro. They're all gone. I'm in the spring sale stuff. I've seen it up the steps by the manager's office. You could leave them with Mrs. Terman. I think Dave. she's... Hmm. You come with me for a minute. Okay. Uh, can you watch Billy for a sec? Sure. What is it? In the storeroom. I need your help. Shine the light up there. Nobody knows about this, so don't scream. What is it? That. Those two army kids from the Arrowhead Project. Here. Drink this. Huh? It's cold beer. You're gonna need it. Oh. Look, I came back to see if we had any extra cartridges for the gas <laughs> grill that that guy's been using. I saw these guys. By the way, I figured they, they must have gotten the nooses ready. And stood on top of those two piles of cartons. Must have tied their hands for each other, you know, and then balanced each other while they stepped through the length of rope between their wrists, so so that their hands could be behind them, you know. Then uh, I don't know, I'm only guessing, but they they stuck their heads into the nooses and pulled them tight by jerking their heads to one side. Maybe one of them counted to three and they jumped together. I don't know. It couldn't be done. It could, if they wanted to bad enough, David. They could. I think you know why. Not any of the tourists. There's some people like that guy Miller, but there are people from around here who could make a pretty decent guess. Arrowhead Project. Yeah. I stand by those registers all day long. I hear a lot. All this spring I've been hearing things about that damned Arrowhead thing. None of it good. Black ice on the lakes. Out on Long Lake? I, I've heard stuff from, I don't know, two dozen people. Justin Robards, Nick Tokai, Ben Michelson. You just can't keep secrets in a small town. Things get out. Sometimes it's... It's like a spring, you know? It just bubbles up out of the earth, and... No one has any idea where it came from. You just... You overhear something at the library. You pass it on, or... At the marina in Harrison. God knows where else or why. But all spring and summer, I've been hearing Arrowhead Project. Arrowhead Project. 
But these two. I mean, Christ, I mean, they're just kids. They were kids of mom who used to take ears. I was there, I saw it. But what would drive them to this? I don't know. Maybe they knew something. Maybe they only suspected something. I don't know, but they must have known people in here would start asking questions eventually. If there's going to be an eventually. If you're right, there must be something really bad. That storm, Dave. Maybe it knocked something loose up there. Maybe there was an accident. They could have been fooling around with anything. Some people claim they were messing around with high-intensity lasers and masers. Sometimes I hear fusion power. And suppose, just suppose, they ripped a hole straight through to another dimension. Oh, I don't know. What are we going to do with them? Oh, guys, I think we better just calm down and uh, hide them. You know, put them under a pile of stuff that nobody's going to use. Dog food, detergent, stuff like that. If this gets out, it's only going to make things worse. That's why I came to you. I felt you're the only guy that I can really trust. Who's going to cut him down? Me or you? One each. All right, let's make it quick. Mr. Drayton? David? What was it? It was nothing. You liar. It was a false alarm. That's how you want it? I've just been up to the manager's office. It's empty. There's a lock on the door. Mrs. Terman is looking after Billy. It's warmer up there. Have a hostess ding dong. No, thanks. You have a donut. Oh, that white sugar is death. It's worse than cigarettes. In that case, take two. Nah, I ought to get back to my kid. Those pink bugs? They're gone. So are the things with the leathery wings. The last one hit the window around 4 a.m. Apparently, the wildlife here is a lot more active when it's dark. Yeah, you don't want to tell Brent Norton that. I didn't get much sleep last night. But I got a chance to think over a few things. We can't stay here. Well, there's food. There's plenty to drink. We're sitting in a fishbowl. If one of those really big beasties that roars out there decides to go bump into the glass, what then? Drive it off with broomsticks? There are about 50 people in here when the mist came. From that, you subtract the bag boy, Morton and the four people that left with him, and that man, Tom Smalley. That leaves 43. Maybe 41. Huh? No, nothing. You subtract the people who just zonked out, turned vegetables, say 10. That leaves 33. But we've got 15 or so who won't leave no matter what. You want any of this? Nah, I don't like Diet Pepsi. Caffeine-free Coke? No. So what do your numbers prove? We've got to get out. Around noon. I'll take as many as will come with me. What, after what happened to Norton? Norton went like a lamb to slaughter. We have exactly one gun. But if we could make it across the intersection to the sportsman's exchange, they're loaded with guns. That is a big if. It's an iffy situation. Come here. Tell me what you see out there. The mist. That blue Chevy station wagon is mine. The parking lot was jammed yesterday, right? Now, Norton and his four members of the Flat Earth Society go out, almost to the full length of the clothesline. Then we hear roaring, like a herd of rogue elephants. Yeah, it sure as hell wasn't elephants. It sounded big, right? So how come we didn't hear cars getting bashed around? 
Metal breaking glass. Okay, you tell me. I think we didn't hear any cars getting knocked around because they're gone. Fallen into a hole in the ground. Vaporized. You name it. Remember that thump after the mist came? Strong enough to splinter these beams and knock stuff off the shelves. And the town whistle stop at the same time. If you're right. If the ground opened up, how far are you going to get in a station wagon? Well, I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking of your four-wheel drive. That's it? Well, one other thing to consider. Her, that crazy witch. Mrs. Carmody. By tonight, she'll have more people with her. She's ranting about a sacrifice, blood sacrifice, to make it all better. No kidding. Maybe it'll be me, or you, or your kid. Oh, that's idiocy. Is it? The people here are going through a section eight. I spent half of last night thinking I flipped my gourd, that I was in a straitjacket watching my mind raves about bugs and dinosaur birds and tentacles, and it will all go away as soon as an orderly comes and gives me my thorazine. I'll tell you, as everyone gets flakier, she's going to sound better and better to some of them. And I don't want to be around when it happens. What do you say? I am not going to do my kid any good by getting killed. You're not helping him by sitting on your butt. What about the pharmacy next door? What about it? Well, it's only 20 feet away. Why haven't any of those people come over here? That crossed my mind. They're sure not over there eating Dristan and stay free mini pads. All right, what do you say to this? Four or five of us could make it next door. We'll check out the situation, and then we'll know more about where we stand. How soon? Give me an hour. creatures out there. There are beasts with cloven hooves and eyes of hatred that will feed upon you, all of you, unless you stop this cowering, this fearful whimpering that draws them closer like a dog that smells fear, unless you see there is a light in this darkness. I don't want you to go. Oh, listen, champ, I don't want to go either, but I'll be right back. I want you here with me. I'll tell you what. I'll bring you back a Spider-Man comic book, how's that? Daddy, please don't go. Believe me, Billy. I'll be right back, okay? All right. Okay. How's Billy? He made two bowls of Count Chocula. He's doing fine. I'll look after him for you. Mrs. Terman's with him. You really have to do this? Hope you don't mind my saying this, but it sounds like so much macho crap to me. Well, it sounds like you've been listening to Mrs. Carmody. You afraid of her? To be honest? Yeah. I don't know. She has a poisonous aura, all right. Take care. I will. What's that you have, Miss Repner? Well, this is a bag filled with raid and black flag. And this I found in the sporting goods department is folding Jimmy Connors' tennis racket. What are you going to do? I'm with not it? sure, but it feels right in my hand. Didn't I have you in school? Yes, ma'am. Me and my sister Pauline. Too much to drink last night? Oh, no. Well, I think we're ready. We're not taking any chances. At the first sign of anything, we hop right back here. And bring the fiends of hell down on all our heads! Why can't you leave well enough alone? Lady, is this what you call well enough? You'll die out there, David Drayton. Don't you recognize that the fiend has been let loose? Star Wormwood blazes, and each one who steps out that door will be devoured, and they'll come for those of us who are left. Are you going to let that happen? After what befell the unbelievers yesterday? It's death! It's death! Shut up, you miserable old buzzard! Who serves the foul one? Who did you sleep with last night, missus? Who did you lie down with, Mother Carmody sees? Oh, yes, Mother Carmody sees it all. Are we gonna stand here jawing all day, or are we gonna do it? Let's do it! Yeah, let's go! Let's do it! Smelled these people in here and came after them? How else? You can't see in the mist. 
They followed their sense of smell. They came dead. Here's a Spider-Man comic, and uh, you want an Incredible Hulk? <laughs> what is that stuff he's crossing all over up there? Streamers. Some kind of silken webs. Ow. Dave, Dave, what? Out of here. Get out. Don't you get it? The spider webs. It's the wind out of the mist. They got to coming down from all over the place. It's hurting me. Nothing to it. <laughs> the dirty bastard snatched my market basket. Daddy! Hey, Billy! Ooh! It's all right. I brought you a Spider Man, the Incredible Hulk comic book. <laughs> find one quart of skim milk that's still good. Thanks. We're worried about Mrs. Carmody. What time is it? It's about four. What about Mrs. Carmody? She's stirring things up. We gotta put a stop to it quick. There are about eight people with her now. She never shuts up. It's like some kind of crazy church service. Eight isn't that many? It's enough. Miller and Hatlin are gone. She started talking about human sacrifice again. Stop talking that drivel in my store right now. You're the one that better shut up. You listen to me. It's still a free country for that kind of troublemaking. You just... Oh! When they've drawn the first blood, they mean business. How far do you think they'll go? I don't intend to find out. It's easy to say. I intend to get out or die trying. There have been three suicides. Pills. You carried the bodies in back. It's thinning out. Oh, it's going to get a lot thinner. You won't make it to your car, believe me. Hell, the first row's closer than that drugstore. That's right. We're going to find ourselves outnumbered pretty soon. Human sacrifice. Can you believe that crap? I'm beginning to. Who do you think she'll single out for the honor? I don't know. There's one last chance. I'm game, so to speak. If we make it to the scout, running, pile in and get the windows rolled up, that would cut off the scent. What if they're attracted to something else? Yeah, it might be the exhaust, motion of the car. Then we're cooked. Where would you go? First, home. Get my wife. Dave. All right. Check on my wife to be sure. And then south. Try to get out of the mist. How much gas you got? Almost full. It might be impossible to go south to get out. Yeah, I thought about that. Who would you take? You three and Billy, Miss Terman, Miss Rappler, even Brown if you leave his store. That's eight. Billy can sit on somebody's lap. All right. All right, let's try it. Have you mentioned this to anyone? Not yet. My advice is don't. I'm going to go uh, collect a couple of bags of groceries. All right, we'll squeak out when folks are asleep. If she finds out, she'll try to stop us. You think so? I think so. Punish! 
punished for delving into secrets forbidden by the God of old. Expiation! That's right! It's expiation! Clear away this mist! Expiation! Gonna get rid of these abominations! Expiation! Gonna drop the scales from our eyes and let us see! And what does the Bible say about expiation? What is the only cleanser for sin in the eye and mind of God? What is it? Danny, I'm scared. Commander, it's time. What? It's 4.30. I don't know. It'll only get worse. She won't let up. It's now or never. Come on, up. Oh. Get the light out, sir. Let's get out of this loony bin. Right on. Dave, uh, you and Cornell take the groceries. They're hidden up by the checkout. I'll Wait. go first and uh, get the doors up. Bud, right. you coming? I'm staying with the store, Ollie. It's my life. Adios. Good luck. You scout the four door, isn't it? Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to open the driver's side and the back door at the same time. Dave, you get behind the wheel. The rest of us... Where did you think us... you were going? We're going out now, Mrs. Carmody. Ask your people to stand away, please. You can't go out. That way lies death. Don't you know that by now? And here. What have we here? Huh? Your little store of groceries. <laughs> These are the sort who brought it on. People who will not bend to the will of the Almighty. Sinners in pride. Haughty they are. It is from their number that the sacrifice must come. From their number, the blood of expiation. It's the boy we want. Stop him. Take him. Get his whore, too. Get the whore. Get the whore. What do you think she planned to do for my son? Holly, let's get out of here. I killed her. Damn, if I didn't kill her. Yeah, I know you did. Now let's go. Look, I wouldn't have shot her. Not, not if there'd been any other way. I know, I know, Ali. Come on. You believe me? I believe you. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Sit here all day. I'm looking for my keys. Oh no! Oh please! Ah, I, I knew they were here. <laughs> Miller was right. The highways cracked to hell. Spots the grounds came in. Thank God for the four wheel drive. Siphon gas at the stations and keep heading. Damn it. What is it? That old pine fell clean across the road. I guess that's it. Never get around that. Are we home? No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so am I. What is that? I don't know. I'm not waiting around to find out. Dave, 
David! Hey, quiet down. It's getting closer. I know. If we get on the turn bike, we'll have distance it. I hope so. I don't think so. I don't think there ever was an animal that big. Not on this earth. Try your radio. Right. Does that mean everything's off the air? We should be picking up WRKO or WBZ from Boston. The mist is causing interference. You sure they even exist? I don't know. Exit 13. There used to be a Howard Johnson's here. We haven't seen a living soul since we started. Is it all right? Yes. We're safe. The Mist was based upon the story by Stephen King, adapted for radio by M. Fulton, with special thanks to Dennis Etchison. The Mist was directed by Bill Raymond. The music was composed and performed by Tim Clark. Location sound engineer was Bob Balecki. Featured in the cast, David Drayton, played by Bill Sadler. Thanks, Jim. Can I have some? Sure thing. Billy by Lute Ramblin. Yuck. <laughs> Stephanie, Linda Hartinian. You want a beer, Mr. Norton? Yeah, sure. You got a light beer? Brent Norton, Jim Straws. Mrs. Carmody, Ruth Malachek. What is the only cleanser for sin in the eye and mind of God? What is it? Ollie, Dan Florek. When it gets dark, we'll find out. Amanda Dumfries, Susan Berman. I know where they keep the pillows and, you know, the polyester coverlets. Miss Repler, Beatrice Roth. That old pine fell clean across the road. Bud Brown, David Brisbane. I'm staying with the store, Ollie. It's my life. Stella Hatlin, Valeria Vasilewski. It's like some insane party. Streamers all over the place. Miller, Tom Glynn. Ordinary earthly spider, something totally different. Plants not even a spider. Ah! Tom Smalley, John Wynn Evans. Oh, God, God, I'm glad I didn't eat. I never hold it down. Cornell. Bill Raymond. One of those things you saw in the back decides to hit the glass. We're all up to Chocolate Creek without a piss and for a paddle. Yeah. Myron, Greg Merton. You raise the door high enough to duck under, then I'll shut her down. Norm, Mike O'Farrell. Help me, for God's sake! <sighs> Mrs. Terman, Noah Ben I'll keep Louis till six if you like. The young mother, Monica Ruggiero. How can I wait? My kids are at home. I, I want to go home. The little girl, Joanelle Lusk. 
the radio announcer, Charlie Munay. This is Dave Herman. Associate producer for The Mist is Phoenix. Executive producer, Tom Lopez. Assistant location technicians, Karen McPherson and Nita Rockwell. The producers would like to thank Adirondack Scenic, the Washington County Sheriff's Department, the Fort Edward High School, Leo Williams, Lena Spencer, Dr. Wolpert, and Max Kabalowitz. Also Heba, the Siamese cat, Max's chicken, and Santiago the parakeet. The Mist was mixed at ZBS Studios by Tom Lopez, with special effects created by Fulton, Phoenix, and Clark. <laughs>